Business glamour and grace. At first glance, it seems like Catherine Mary Pachulik has it all. In our first episode of Looking Local, we find out how this young creative jewelry designer managed to crack the industry with her quirky designs. I studied fine arts at Michaelis UCT and then I trained as a pastry chef um, and travelled the world overseas um, and I worked in a bakery in London and then I backpacked through India and through Spain, returned home with no money, started multiple little businesses, I bottled peppers, I sold food at markets, I kind of hustled and at night I started to make these pieces um, and I made them and then I would wear them and people would buy them off my neck and then I started to realise that there might be something exciting here. I shot a campaign with Alex Rose Cowie from, she used to be the editor of Between 10 and 5. From there it was, I was asked to accessorise Lalesso's um, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week and I've just been following the demand ever since. How did you go from pastry chef to jewellery designer? I think that the, there's always been like a commonality and a thread of loving to use my hands and making things and having a very tactile relationship to what I do. So often I think, especially the first designs, had pastry-like shapes, like they looked a little bit like a pretzel or a, you know, and often sometimes these bracelets even look like bagels. They do have like a very kind of pastry-like feeling, very delicious, yeah. business-minded from a very young age. My mom tells a story when I was little, uh, I decided in the holidays being bored that I would start a raffle. So I took all my mom's like expensive jewelry and I went down the, down the road in my area and I did raffles and then my, I gave away all these like expensive jewels for this little raffle and my mom had to go back and collect all her pieces saying sorry about my daughter. So I think I've always had this kind of spirit like, you know, I like to kind of make my own keep even from a little girl. And I think if you have that sort of, this self-determined attitude to your life, I think that shows up in maybe having the basic good business skills. The handmade pieces carry price tags anywhere from 200 Rand to 3,000 Rand. The designer tells us a little bit about how she puts a price tag on her creations. It's material consideration. It's the availability consideration, how long it takes to make. Um, but especially with, you know, some of our parts we work with a merchant, um, a gentleman who travels across Africa, a Gambian guy, and he collects a trousseau of really interesting objects from Mali, battered silver, um, spearheads, agate spearheads from Ghana, and all those pieces are quite limited, and each of them individual. So it depends on how much availability we have, and, um, and really, they, because they are so precious. How long does it take for you to make one of the more intricate pieces? It depends how, if multiples are being made at the same time. You know, you're making a whole stack of them and, and you're doing certain stages all at the same time. But some of the more hardcore detailed pieces like the Golden Fold can take half a day or more than that. It's, it's so much wrapping. Like every single element of these pieces have been touched, you know. So it's really, it's a very intimate relationship with the material. It looks like Catherine has no reason to be afraid of what's to come in the future. But the future might want to brace itself for this design powerhouse.